Brazil is by far the largest sugarcane producer in the world, and its cultivated area expands year after year. Sugarcane, used as raw material for ethanol and sugar production, can be already planted in dry regions and less fertile soils due to some innovations in the cultivation techniques. The irrigation system, as an example of this, can compensate for less fertile soils. Not only in Brazil, but also around the world, the sugarcane bagasse is used for energy cogeneration and the demand for ethanol increases every year as an attempt to substitute fossil fuel for the green fuel. This efficient, clean and non-pollutant energy source plays an important role in the economy of the country. To obtain a larger production in the cultivated area, it is necessary to invest in technologies to improve the area. Plastrous methods, both the drip fertilization irrigation and irrigation systems, provide better crop results. There are many factors that contribute for a good crop result. A successful attempt involves the right choice and growing techniques, good soil preparation and the correct installation of the irrigation equipment. The installation of the drip line is simple, with the soil previously prepared, the furrows opening to a new plantation starts. A furrow opener machine is adapted to bury the drip line in a single operation. The plantation can be in single or double furrows. The drip line is installed underground within 20 to 30 centimeters deep at the same time as the furrows for the plantation are opened. All the hydraulic system, filters and accessories are carefully designed so that the system is able to operate for more than 10 years in the soil. This is basically the same duration that an irrigated canna brake has. The hydrolyte pipe has been chosen as the best drip irrigation. It has been designed to avoid root penetration. At the beginning of each line, the drip line is connected to a consistent polyethylene pipe through specific connectors. This procedure is carefully carried out in order to avoid strangulation of the tube by its folding. The canna brake fertilization can be done through water from irrigation, saving on fertilizers and reducing labor. The possibility of feeding the plant with micro and macronutrients through doses compatible to the can absorption curve is the differential of this technology. The NAS can also be injected through the drip irrigation system. Plastro has selected the best irrigation equipment as well as control panel, efficient filters, automation system and valves. A good agronomic result is obtained when the irrigation process is done based on climatic factors because they help you define the amount of water the plant needs. There are many reasons for choosing the drip irrigation system during sugarcane production. Costs are reduced due to higher productivity and canna break longevity. Both water and electric energy consumption are reduced compared to other systems. Wildfires and mechanized crop do not cause any damage to the system. It demands simple and low-cost maintenance. It can be adapted to any kind of topography and area patterns. Growers avoid crop disappointments related to dry weather. The development of drip irrigation system in the sugarcane production is really noticeable. It is possible to see that by observing this area planted 12 months ago. The sugarcane is vigorous, immune to disease and also exhibits a considerable rise in recoverable sugar in the cane per hectare. The plant did not have any hydric stress in its whole growing period and now it presents bigger and regular combs. Irrigated sugarcane productivity may surpass the 200 tons per hectare and extend its longevity for more than 10 sugarcane cuttings. Sugarcane irrigation now has got a name, Plastrum.